Hello uh, and welcome. Uh, so in this uh, video clip, uh, we will see again uh, what are the gravity anomalies because uh, we had to solve the problems on the geophysics. So we need to remember all the formulae before that. So what is gravity anomaly? Gravity anomaly means uh, we know the uh, value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Earth is average uh, 9.8 meter per second square. So it is 9.8 meter per second square. But we also know the value of acceleration due to gravity varies when we go from the equator to the pole. So uh, also uh, with density it changes when we go uh, inside the earth or we go above the surface of earth. It also varies uh, due to the shape of the earth and uh, it also varies because of the rotation of the earth, right? So that means uh, the value of acceleration due to gravity does not remain same at every point. Similarly, if we go from one place to another place on the surface of Earth, because of the unusual changes, uh, there is some rock or there is mountain because of terrain, so there is a deep valley, so the value of G changes, right? So we need to correct the value of the G at different positions, uh, at different levels, at different depths. And we call these unusual changes in the value of G, that is acceleration due to gravity, as gravity anomaly so we need to correct them so where the value of g decreases we have to add the value where the value of g we see increases so we need to uh, subtract the correction right okay so what is gravity anomaly gravity anomaly is uh, simply the difference of the acceleration due to gravity and uh, this is minus gamma where gamma is the value of g at uh, an angle of phi that is geocentric latitude phi equal to 90 minus theta that is this point here so at a point p uh, which is at a distance of r right so due to the anomalous uh, masses inside the earth right now if we go uh, at a distance of x on the horizontal and uh, at a distance uh, at a depth uh, z uh, then uh, we can write uh, the gradient of the anomalous potential is equal to g delta m z plus d divided by x square plus z plus d square raised to the power 3 by 2 where Va is potential due to anomalous mass that anomalous mass is delta m is equal to 4 by 3 then it is pi r cube then it is delta rho where delta rho is the anomalous density also right so in uh, two dimensions, uh, Va by infinite horizontal cylinder at depth d is given by 2 pi g delta rho. It is a cube log natural 1 by under root of x square plus z plus d whole square. So if we have to calculate the, uh, this uh, gravity anomaly or the change in the value of gravity uh, with the depth uh, at a point. So that is again the negative gradient of the potential means uh, the differential coefficient of Va with respect to Z. So then that is equal to this much, right? Where this D is the depth at which the anomalous mass lies, right? Now, uh, whenever we see the anomalies in the value of G, so we need to correct them. So one of the correction is known as free air correction and second is known as Boger correction. So we'll see what are free air and Boger anomalies, right? The free air anomaly is, it is again G minus gamma, so then we have to add it uh, plus uh, 3.086H, where H is the height from the datum line, that is, we take the datum line as the surface of Earth, and we measure it in gravitational units, the gravitational unit is micrometer per second square, because this type of uh, correction is very small, so we take the smaller units. Similarly, we had a Boger correction. So in Boger correction, we again take it as 3.086, but we subtract 0.419 times rho, then it is H. So rho is the density of the palette of thickness H, right? Now there is another correction that is known as isostatic correction. So there are two theories. One is the airy hypo uh, hypothesis. So one is the by uh, airy hypothesis, the root T of the mountain of height h is given by t is equal to it is uh, rho c divided by rho m minus rho c times h what is rho c here rho c is the density of the crust whereas rho m is the density of the mountain 
Similarly, in case of oceanic zone, we take the anti root of this. The anti root is T dash is equal to rho C minus rho A divided by rho M minus rho A. So again here rho C is the density of the crust. This is the water density and this is the density of the uh, this mantle and this is again the density of the water. This is H dash here, right? So this is uh, the depth uh, from the uh, sea level, right? So then there is Pratt's hypothesis. By Pratt's hypothesis, this uh, variation in density is equal to rho minus uh, rho zero. So that is equal to minus h divided by d plus h. Then it is rho zero. 